Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Today this is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra, element of air. And um, I have pre-shuffled. And we will be taking a card from here. And we'll set this aside. I feel like I should shuffle again. I've been, that seems to be the case here lately. Okay. First card. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Second strength. Knight of Wands. And get one more. Hmm. Nine of Swords. Oh, okay. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Oh my goodness. Three of Swords. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay. We've got our four pentacles. For me, Libra, you're guarding your heart. You've got that pentacle in front of your heart so that nothing can get through. Nothing can go through that pentacle. You are guarding. I do not feel like this is ego. I do feel like, though... There is a guarding of your assets also. I get a feeling of not, for one, you, you're guarding your heart because you don't want to get hurt. There's been hurt. But also, I feel like you're guarding your assets because you, you have worked hard to get where you're at alone. But I feel strength. You have strength. You know, it's Leo. We've got wands. We've got pentacles. We've got swords. Um, you have got strength. You found strength. To move forward with our Knight of Wands. Growth. See how desolate? The growth. Moving forward. But still dwelling Sleepless nights, all because you don't know what to do, and you're dwelling on the past. You want this, but you don't know, you know. I don't even feel like there's actually, there could be somebody that you're eyeballing. I don't feel like you have anyone. But you won't. You want to go forward and you want to have a relationship, but you're scared. You're thinking about the past. You're keeping yourself stuck. Stuck. See how loose? That could be just wiggled off. Could take the blindfold off. See clear, clarity. Clear. 
The past is the past. Let go of it. Release it. No longer dwell in that area of your life. Release it. So that you can go forward without worry or fear and you can have strength to not worry about having to guard your heart so, so heavily that you can't completely let yourself feel love if it comes or if it's there. You're so guarded that you want something but you're not letting yourself feel. That's what I'm getting. And two, you worry about your assets because you, you work so hard for what you have. Is, is, is things going to end up the way they used to be? The way they once were? You know, in life, we have to take chances. I mean, if you want something bad enough, but you do need to follow your intuition. Always follow your intuition. This is a bad place to be. I know. I've been there. And I don't like it. And I don't want to go back. This is a bad place to be. Stuck. I don't want to go there either. Get out of this energy. You've had broken heart. Your heart has been broken. And you're, you're, you're holding on to that. You have to release that. Let it go. You know, we got a full moon coming up. Actually, heck, start releasing now. That's, that's, yeah. I have some things in my life that I'm releasing. Uh, that no longer serve me. And I started actually last night. The moon looked so beautiful. No, not full, but beautiful. And I just felt... Go ahead, start releasing. So I'm telling you, start releasing. Release that past so that you can have a future that you want because you've been manifesting. You know what you want. You've known what you've wanted the whole time. You just don't trust. <clears throat> you need to have faith and you need to realize, hey, you have all the tools here. You want it. Trust it. Believe it. Have faith. Because you can manifest it. That's what I have. We're going to get a cartomancy. I felt like this one. Not taking jumpers. Nope. No jumping. Not taking jumpers. Not taking jumpers. Not filling jumpers. Yeah. Okay. Two of spades. You know, with our two of spades coming up like that, for me, I feel like this is about friendship. You know, the beginning, where, where relationships begin. Friendship. I also feel that someone has a strong sense of intuitive gifts, powers, however you want to say it, gifts. It may be you, Libra. Someone does in this, within your life. 
or around you a connection yes yes but I feel like that card is saying it begins with friendship yes yes so if this reading if you do not resonate leave it don't try to fit it into your life um, I do like seeing the comments. Um, I've had people start commenting and telling me, you know, if something resonates. So, um, that's awesome if you want to comment. And, um, if it doesn't resonate with you, check your birth chart. This is Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and Saturn. So, check your birth chart. You may have to look at a different sign, uh, such as me. I'm an Aquarius Sun and moon but my rising in Venus is Sagittarius so sometimes the readers that I am drawn to watch um, sometimes it'll be Sagittarius that hits me other times Aquarius and then other times both so just saying you might want to check that if you enjoy the readings thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> getting tongue-tied if not thumbs down that's fine uh, it helps you to move it along to where it needs to go I feel like this could be for more than one person and um, if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button the little bell notify you every time that I upload and have an awesome day go out and enjoy nature look up at the sky hug a tree get barefoot go to the park I enjoy doing that bye